What's going on guys? It's Great Meat Coast Dies, and today we have a short video, but I think an important one. So ever since we released the Weapon X and the DNA with our new Flexform Plastic, we've been getting a lot of questions on how to dye it. So traditional dyeing is done on nylon heads. Almost every head has been made in nylon since people have been dyeing heads, and it's worked pretty well with regular RIT dye. But now with the DNA and the Weapon X, they're both made with our Flexform Plastic, which is entirely different in its makeup from nylon plastics, and that means it's gonna dye differently. So if you try to dye Weapon X or DNA, you notice if you use regular red dye uh, like you're used to, it comes out a little more pale, maybe a little splotchy, and it just doesn't take as well because the plastic is so different. So today I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips for dyeing up the Weapon X and our DNA with the Flex Form Plastic. So here I've got one done here. I wanna give a big shout out to Dandy Dyes on Instagram. He's done lots of dyes for us. He's done a great job on Weapon X's and DNAs, did a Weapon X for the Beast, and he gave us some tips on this. So here we've got one that's a royal blue fade from the bottom that turned out really nice. And so the big key here is the RIT Dye More product. So you guys are probably used to seeing regular RIT, it comes in a box or a liquid container like this. You can buy it at almost any craft store. This we found on Amazon. We'll put a couple links down in the description for you. This is called RIT Dye More and it's synthetic, so it's meant to cover a wider range of fabrics. So original RIT is meant for nylon fabrics, that's why it works okay on nylon plastics, but since this plastic is not nylon, this one seems to work a lot better because it covers a wider range of materials. So we use the standard procedure. You want really, really hot boiling water, as hot as you can possibly get it. We use uh, like electric water boilers that are meant for tea that work really well. You can get them cheap on Amazon if you're dying a lot of heads. If not, just throw a pot on the stove, boil the water up. Then we use a little like dorm room trash can, put the liquid RIT dye more in it, mix up the water while it's still boiling hot, and then you want to dip the head in. Um, it doesn't take too long to dye. This one probably took two or three minutes of continuous dipping to get a nice rich and dark color. Um, and that is how it worked well for us. So they have a lot of different colors in this red dye more. So if you want to dye the Flexform plastic, this is a really good place to start. You probably can't find it in craft stores. You probably have to go on Amazon and check it out. We've also tried uh, Lax Dip Dye and there's also the Throne, um, what does he call it? There's the, throne, yeah, there's the throne powder. Uh, we have not tried those. This is the one we found works the best for the flex form, but you can go try those other dyes as well um, if you're having some trouble. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, a reminder, we warranty dyed heads. So if you dye your head and you break it, we will still value that warranty. Uh, so let me know any, any questions, leave them in the comments. Send us an email to our customer service. Please, if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.